MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So, Graham, we have here a Herco VMX84. It's a big machine. What is the capacity? It's 2.134 millimeters in the X, um, 8.74 in the Y, and 7.62 in the Z. Okay, and, and who would buy this type of machine? It's a very popular machine with mold makers and tool makers. Um, as you can see on the machine there, we've got a big base plate, um, so for large capacity plate, heavy plate, and then, so if we drill into the detail, we spoke about the size, the capacity. What about things like the spindle, the spindle taper, the spindle speed? Right. We sell this machine as a 40 taper machine. Uh, this, this particular machine is a 50 taper, 29.3 uh, horsepower. Uh, it produces 353 newton meters at 600 RPM. So it's an extremely torquey, powerful machine. So if you compared other manufacturers with a Herco machine of this capacity, what would make this Herco machine different? What are some of the reasons people go with Herco? Okay. One is the, the rigidity. It's a 17 ton machine, so it's extremely rigid. The Herco programming is a big advantage. We have several niche advantages. One is uh, DXF file translator, so the operator can program direct at the machine. Um, from a CAD model. We can also then mix and match NC programs with conversational programs. Okay, so the control, I have heard that before. I know we've done interviews on Herco machines before. The Herco control, milling and turning, is a very popular feature yes, within is, the yeah. machine. Yeah. Okay, we've got the build quality as well. What about things like swarf extraction? Yeah, we have um, a conveyor which runs through the center of the machine, taking the swarf out to the side. We then add a, a second conveyor which uplifts that swarf into a, a much larger container for the customer. Okay, and I think you mentioned about mould and die or big plate work. So when you're machining, obviously if you're, if you're contouring and you've got a higher speed spindle, what about um, the feed rates and the cutting feed rates of the machine? Well, the, the rapid feed rates is up to 18 metres a minute. Cutting feed rates are 15.2 metres per minute. So if you're looking for higher speeds, surface finishes, the VMX84 could be the machine? Yes, and we, it's an eight, that particular model is an 8,000 8, RPM, but we can upgrade it to 10,000. So if you were looking for higher speeds and 8,000, you could go up to the 10. Does that mean it's BT50, or is, is it then come to the 40 That's, taper? It's, it comes standard as CAT50, but we can change the, the swing arm to BT50. So we can have either. So you can have either. And through spindle coolant, if you were doing yeah, more contouring. Yeah, that's an option as well. And the contouring side of things, in terms of handling that, the control manages that. Can you program that at yeah. the control? Yeah, yeah. It's, we can, we, it's a variable look ahead of 10,000 blocks per second. So it's extremely good on NC programs. One of the things that um, looks a little bit different in terms of a configuration to me is this tool changer, Graham. Yeah, this is. Um, a large capacity tool change, it's 32 positions, it's a caterpillar tool change so we can increase the capacity over a, a, a circular drum tool changer. What, so you can get more tools or you can so add get, more so, tools? So we can't add more tools but we, we've increased the capacity from 24 to 32 by having this configuration. And if you look at most tool changers they might be 24 or 30. That extra tool tools, that makes a difference? Yeah. Well, on this, for, this machine, for instance, we have a part probe. So that's taking up one position. So yeah, an extra one or two positions is valuable. Now, also on the spindle, we've spoken about the spindle speeds. What about the actual build of the spindle? Are these spindles direct drive? Are they belt driven? How much power have they got? They're, they are belt driven spindles. Um, we do a low top. This is a, an 8K spindle. We do a 10K higher speed option and we also do a 6k spindle which is a, an even greater torque. So if you wanted to go for a, a lower speed higher torque version you've got the 6k as well? Yes, so we have all three options covered. And in terms of the, the, the internals of the machine, loading perspective I see the table does pull right to the front of the machine so it if does, you were yeah. an engineer you could, if you've got a duck board it's easy to load. Yeah. 
yeah. and, the, and the forks of a, a pallet loading truck go straight under. Uh, we got over access for overhead cranes. Okay. Um, ah, so the reason there is a, a gap here at the, at the bottom is you can go under with the forks? Yes, it is, yes. Right, okay. Also, all the coolant tanks yeah. around the back. Yeah. The swarf conveyor is through the middle, yeah. not out the front. So right. again, so aids loading of the component. Okay, and have you got swarf augers on this machine? No, they're conveyors. They're conveyors. Yes. They're, and it's just the one, or? Yeah, just the one central one. It runs right through the central right of the machine. Right through the central of the machine. Yeah. Okay, Graham. So I've looked at the machine. We've spoken about the features and benefits. I'm putting myself in the place of a precision engineer. Why am I going to go for the VMX 84T? Okay. It's big capacity, over two meters in the x-axis. High precision machine. Uh, we have a full service backup, we've got 16 service engineers on the road, full training facility at High Wycombe. Um, are the machines in stock? And the machines are in stock, yeah. yeah. We have a central warehouse in Holland, all the machines for Europe are stored, so yeah. And, and if, 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 if I had a problem, service engineers, am I going to struggle to get one out? No, not at the moment. Yeah, we've got taken on two more this week, so Herco as a company is expanding to meet the demands of customers. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.